Good morning ladies and gents and welcome back to the Homeless Adventure Camp 2024 Extravaganza Bonanza. First brew of the day has been achieved um, and it's much needed after last night. <laughs> so last night we did have pelting grain bouncing off the canvas pretty much all night. Luckily there was no water ingress into the tent and um, the panels did become obviously damp and moisture was absorbed into the canvas which is to be expected. That's probably the best house in its had, so that should seal that from the elements. Uh, good style now. Unfortunately, as I mentioned, the area where we've been able to pitch the tent long term isn't level, and it does slant off down by the end of the bed. So where the canvas walls at the back of the tent would be protected by the skirts, um, unfortunately they're now pulled out lopsided, so the rain was pelting off them all night. But I think I dodged a bullet. Um, not last night, night before, I came out to the car and all of my windows were down on the car, not by my doing. Um, but luckily enough we didn't have any rain that night, otherwise everything in the car would have been absolutely buggered. Um, but it turns out I think it's a low battery in my key fob, so I've had to switch key fobs. Um, and this morning, well last night I woke up pretty much every hour and just um, pressed the lock uh, key on the car, making sure the windows were up. This morning they were, they were up, so... Fingers crossed it was just that battery. Second calamity of our homeless um, experience is the All Powers S300. Only yesterday I was singing its praises. Um, shortly after I stopped filming, I accidentally pulled this off from about knee height onto pretty much grass, which is under the uh, ground sheet. And now the mains plugs do not work. So I can't really recommend this unit to anyone. Uh, like I say, it wasn't a a harsh drop pretty much has landed on its side like this and now these are dead everything else is functional or usbs and stuff but these aren't even rated um to what they should be on uh, on the manufacturer's specifications so i don't know whether to just lob this or keep it for the lights because the lights are still working um, and again the usbs are working but yeah that is a lost cause now i think so plan for today, um, I've got to take something down uh, to my works and then I think we need to go back to go outdoors uh, and I'm going to grab a tin of Fabsil Gold, um, depending on how much it is, we'll check on there now, then again we do have our membership which gives us a discount um, and I'm just going to douse the back of the tent, the canvas tent where them panels are um, exposed to the elements because prevention is the best cure a stitch in time saves nine don't know where i've heard that but sounds about right while you are here with me ladies and gents i'd just like to thank you all for your absolutely phenomenal awesome support you've shown me and my beautiful missus um it just means the world you know what i mean we both had a good read of them today i'm going to read some out now um i won't go through them all because there are quite a few but i do appreciate for everyone that's offered their help and support really does mean the world and um, if things get over here um, we might we may take you up on your offers um, let's have a look at some of them this is from the bearded gorilla um, he's been a follower of the channel for a good while now very long time it says brother I hate to hear that about you and your sweet missus I pray that you all will get your uh, what you need and be where you want to be stay positive and know that you all are in my prayers. I thank you very much, Bearded Gorilla. That means the world. Mr. Tang, hope things get better, bud, and thoughts with you both, and things get back on track. I'm hoping so, too, sir. Living Levu. Now, this legend um, is actually a channel member. This guy has been living off the grid for a year or two now, um, I believe. Living in a Levu full time. Now, if you are into bushcraft and you follow the channel you'll have seen a levu before um, it's not massive he lives on on some land with his pony and his missus um, and he's been doing that for two years you know what i mean i've got a canvas hot tent here this guy's been doing it i can't imagine what he's got in that bleeding levu because there's two of them sharing it as well so um great video steam thanks for sharing your current situation agreed something's fallen just fall into place in preparation for future events same kind of happened to myself before coming before becoming houseless. Amazing setup you both have there too. Plus that canvas tent, no condensation to deal with. Bonus, 
there is no condensation there, it's very breathable, which is a bonus again. Um, you brought a smile to my face many times during your video, so it's nice to see you can still look on the bright side of things. I'm more shocked seeing you in bloody jeans, to be honest. <laughs> That's true, I don't really come on, uh, well, I'm here again today. If I started wearing all my bushcraft gear around camp, I mean, we have got campers here as well, I'd look a bit balmy, so... Um, sadly a lot more people will face these kind of situations in the coming future and won't be so fortunate as we have been. Stay strong both. Top couple, top video. Thank you very much pal. I haven't replied to any of these yet, obviously with um, sorting stuff out, so I will get round to replying to these, but I appreciate all your sentiments all the same. Hey man, fully appreciate your honesty and transparency. I was just laid off, our company went under after 70 years. They couldn't afford to reopen, they couldn't afford to be open anymore. Uh, continue doing what is essential and what you need, but most importantly, think, uh, be thankful and happy and healthy, strong and safe, brother. Thank you very much. Jeff Richards, again, been a big follower, a long time follower of the channel. Sorry to hear about your situation, Steve. Hope all works out. At least you have a nice, big, warm, cozy tent and necessities. Best of luck to you and the missus. I'll keep you in my prayers. Thank you very much. I'm not um, religious of any, any sorts. Maybe I need to change my ways, but. For you guys that I do believe, I appreciate you keeping us in your prayers. Uh, Generation X Dad, Steve. Glad to hear you and your missus have a strong connection and maintaining a unified front. A lot of people today would have likely bailed on their partner when times get rough. That is one thing I can honestly say about my beloved. She is absolutely amazing. She is my rock and she will be at my side through thick and thin. I have no worries about that. Absolutely. So it speaks volumes to the character, heart and dedication uh, you two have for each other and it's so wonderful to see. The world seems to be going even more sideways with each passing day and it is unfortunate to see good people like you, who cast, um, you two cast into that kind of situation. Your bushcraft training will prove invaluable for sure and will be a true uh, testament to the wealth of knowledge you have been, um, knowledge you have been and will continue to give us all. Stay strong, brother. Thank you very much. And that's um, Steve from across the pond in Canada. Awesome guy. Chat with him regular. Um, Mark Singleton again. Absolutely. Massive out to the channel. He's, he's, he comments on every video pretty much. And um, I chat with him outside of YouTube as well on Instagram. Hey, Steve. So sorry to wear the situation you're both currently in. I want to help out. I'll message via late, uh, Instagram later keep smiling and he did and he offered us hot meals showers and a place to do laundry which I absolutely appreciate um, one leg wanderer sent two pounds thank you very much Paul um, and he says hope things pick up dude uh, be there myself and it will pick up housing drag their heels but if you don't ban one it won't take long fingers crossed all the best to you and your wife thank you very much Paul there's actually a guy here that I see on my round sometimes when I'm doing post um, funny story, I knocked on his door, I didn't even know where he lived, um, I was just a post delivering a parcel and he was just staring at me at the door and I'm like, he went, are you bus crafty stay? <laughs> and I went, yeah, and he went, oh bloody hell, I said I follow you, I've, I've watched your channel for ages and this is Mark Booth. Um, stay if you can remember where I live when I saw you when you were working, you are welcome to come and help yourself to what I have. Um, he pretty much knows where I am. You are welcome to borrow a frontier stove or my jackery, etc. to keep small electrics going or whatever you need. Our washing machine, etc. is available to... This is, you know what I mean? This is the, the, just the kind of support that, that is just unmeasurable. It really is. People just coming out from nowhere. Just, here you go. You won't, you're not going to struggle under my watch. But um, thank you, Mark. We do have the Winnerwell um, stove that you would have seen on the review of the tent. That will be going in. When, if it does get colder, I can see us being here past Christmas, if we, you know, if I'm honest. Being realistic anyway, so that um, should keep us toasty. We, I have got permission to use the stove as well here, as long as it's got a spark arrestor. We do have a, um, a length of woodland right in front of the car here, and I, I walked down it the other day, and there's a lot of downed ash that has been cut down, don't know by the council or whatever. But it's been there for a while, it's well seasoned, so um, again, trying to budget and keep the cost down. I'll be out there with a big rucksack collecting firewood, um, for sure. Green Valley Outdoors. Uh, hope you and your missus are well uh, as can be. 
Sense setup looks fast, fantastic. Um, thanks, mate. Stay positive, pal. Uh, let me know if I can help in any way. And again, he messaged me outside offering all this help, um, which is amazing. Um, I know it's incentive. I know it's. I don't. I don't want to refuse help. I feel a bit embarrassed, you know. Um, there is a membership, but that was just for the entertainment purpose of the channel um, and keeping the content out. But um, a lot of people are offering um, cash help. I'm not. I'm not there yet. Don't need it yet. But if things do, if we do start to struggle with fuel in the car and stuff, um, I'll set up some. I just give in page or something like that because I don't want to refuse a, a help if it's there um, and insult anyone offering the help. So, morning, Paul. Um, this guy commented on the tent yesterday, he said he liked it. Quality outdoors, being on the edge of homeless for at least six months. For the last six months, it's been a struggle since Yellow Freight filed bankruptcy last July. The circumstances I'm under now are why I haven't posted videos this year I can totally understand that it's totally understandable Paul um, you know sort yourself out first you, you are the main priority I'm sorry to hear you and yours are going through something similar stay strong Steve we are and thank you very much again for all of your sentiments there are a lot more um, um, Brindle is a channel member sorry for your situation life's a bitch at times and contrary to belief a person in my position's um, wage ain't that big, uh, not when all the deductions and the price of sodding stuff stay strong, that's true, you know. Wages have pretty much stagnated over the years, where the price of everything else has risen, um, and that's why everyone is pretty much in my situation right now. And I'd just like to touch on um, Steve's post again, when he mentioned it's becoming more and more common this it is it's, it's pretty much becoming the next pandemic and it has been for a while it's just not being um, reported on as much as it should be really but um, without being negative Labour's just got in in our country and they're supposed to be building 850,000 houses but with the increase in immigrants coming across the border we know who's going to be shortlisted for them first um, and again there's 8,000 people waiting for housing just in my area and I'm not even in my area now because, unfortunately, um, I'm on the border of um, two boroughs. So when I rang for emergency help, they couldn't offer me or the missus temporary accommodation because um, I wasn't in the Tameside area anymore. And there are no campsites in Tameside. Um, the only accommodation they could have offered us anyway was temporary townhouse accommodation, which is... Um, separating me and the missus and my missus mental health is in no fit state for that um, she will not leave my side and you know she's uh, she suffers anxiety for the best of time anyway so that was a no we'd rather struggle together than be separated but, um, yeah so that's just a quick update um, thank you very much for joining me this morning I'm going to enjoy the rest of my now cold coffee and then we'll uh, crack on with the day, um, get out and get that fab and get the tent sorted. Well, before I go, I'd just like to say that your messages are really, really helping and they are uplifting our spirits. Um, things can only get better from here, so please do keep them coming um, and feel free to follow us on this journey. Um, hopefully it isn't too long before we are rehomed and then you know we'll be back to boring old bushcraft in the woods reviewing top quality gear talking about gear um i've been in con well a gent off instagram has been in contact with me called the twisted fire starter um you can type that into instagram go check him out i think he's starting a little business making um fire starters for bushcraft uh, little tinders and by the looks of things they are absolutely they do burn for a while as well so we've got a box of them coming to test out which we'll do um kevin from trust fire um, remember we did the mini times three EDC torch which is now my daily torch um, which is currently in the tent um, that is holding up well absolutely brilliant little torch and he's sending me another one I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head but it is a diver's torch you give me the choice of two one was a, a boring little camping light which I could have done with actually because ours is crap 
lasts about an hour on a full charge. Um, or this behemoth, um, something like 3200 lumen diving torch. So we're going to have a look at that um, in a short while. So, see you soon guys. Stay crafty. Bye bye. Fantastic. Looks like I'm going to have to get used to that. This one in, which is the universal protector, but they do actually have the Fabsil Gold Universal Protector, so I think we'll go with this one. Um, I think there's a little bit more silicon in it. Um, from, why are they all leaking from it? It's a bit more expensive, but I'm very sticky. I think we'll go with this one. Be enough just for the back. Right, so now we've got that. Um, let's go and have a look at some of the tents while we're here. actually sold our uh, Angle Sargo 600XL for um, really, really cheap. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We've moved the camera's tents downstairs now. There's that big one downstairs, isn't there? So these were the stoves that we typically use when we go family camping and I think many uh, family campers use these as well. And these are the gases. So that gas cylinder and the twin burner is a bit of a godsend. Much easier and probably cheaper in the long run as well. And this is where I replaced or traded in my old cylinder yesterday. So this is one we've got now, 3.9 kilo, and I got two meters of this line, a new gas regulator, and a couple of clips, which are somewhere down here. And this is a spanner I had to buy to mash and round off that nut on the old cylinder. Great stuff. And uh, Mrs. is nosying about. You seen anything else yet? Some more that end up spending money we haven't got that we don't need. Oh, there's our, there's our stove. I like this. How much is that? £31. Pound. £31 bargain. So as well, as you know, we do a lot of reviews on the channel. And I did get an email a while ago now, say about three months ago, from a company called Alpacu. They specialised in fridges, electrical fridges and freezers. Um, they led me along, to be fair, for about two months and then went totally 
um, off conversation. I've not heard from them since, but this is probably something we're going to have to look at in the future now we've got electrics in the tent. Far better than a cooler we've got. The cooler we've got does um, hold ice for about two, two days and all that refrigerator is wrapped in wool as well. Um, but definitely something we may need to look at. Um, I should get a check in a couple of months from YouTube, from you fine people that are watching the channel, so you will help me buy one of these and keep all our ice and food chilled. This is pretty much what we're using now, just one of these small chillers. Um, it's alright for short term, but if we're going to be there for a while, we'll need something much, much um, better. And she just spied this. Um, this is a three tier shelf, four tier shelf. Probably make it a lot more um, tidy and compact in the tent. £29. Um, that could be a potential future buy. Again, after we've budgeted for everything else. See anything else, darling? Right, bugger off now. Um, I haven't actually got a camp chair for camp, so we're looking at one of these. Um, I'm split between Mr. Froggy or the puppy. Um, and in this section we have some very, very nice MSR tents. The Hubbard and X, that'd be a nice solo um, mountain tent there. A couple of bivvies. I've also got the Elixir 3, £378. That's for members, say 42 quid. And we've got the Hubber Hubber NX Hubber Hubber NX two person tents there. Um, nice again. I've always liked the MSR tents and the Hillybergs. Um, not something I'd use for my channel though, because I'm not really a hiker. Um, but yeah, really nice quality tents. So if you do watch the channel, you know we've got the Winnerwell external air um, hot tent stove. Absolutely fantastic stove. We use that on holiday over the course of the week, and we use kill drying uh, kill dried birch in that and I think we got about five hours per per load you say five hours and then coals just burnt for a couple of hours as well so but we may have to look at something like this uh, for the long term um, wood is expensive now and this and now we've got the electrics it'll be a one-off purchase and that should keep us warmer into the colder months or something like this 15 quid he's 40 quid that £15 pound is a bit dangerous. Yeah, probably set fire to us all and kill us all nicely. Um, looking at cost and how much we're going to get from that Fabsil Gold. So we've decided on the Fabsil Gold aerosol that we'll just um, concentrate on that one area that's pulled out below that frill. And then we'll go with the Fabsil and try and cover the rest of the tent with that. This is also the UV, which this one doesn't contain a lot of um, because the tent is going to be out in the elements for a good while. So this will protect it from the UV. Right, let's go. We need a spray tub, spray, spray bottle. So we're doing some over recording in Aldi, as you guys call it over in the States. Um, picking up a few bits of the camp, some food. I'm going to carry on recording until it's stopped, <laughs> which is inevitable in here. They really don't like people recording for some reason. So uh, I've lost the missus. Are they? Uh, mm -hmm. Cajun chicken, four pounders. And we got them. And we got grills already. In the f no, you had them the other day. All right. Um, yeah, they'll do. Will you, yeah. will you eat them? The Cajun chicken. Is that the cheapest one? How much are they? I'm not bothered about that. I, I believe not. Like, uh, two ninety nine. That's for two. That's for six. For four. If you take them out of the packet, all right. Yeah, but if you take them out of the packet, is, is that, uh, is that <laughs> yeah. cheap for you? <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't like things like that. Will you eat them or not? The prices nowadays is ridiculous. Like, what percentage of meat is that? I'm gutted. I really love my mayonnaise. And keeping things like mayonnaise at a camp and a chiller is uh, near impossible. We just had to throw a full bottle away. Required at till three, please. Because all the water from the ice when it melted got into the mail and turned it into a liquidy slip. I really love my coffee and I'm gutted that we're having to uh, make sacrifices for this but what's this uh, specially selected strength for Colombian two pounds for that one two pound fifteen yeah we'll go with that we'll try oh, it yeah, £2 we're drinking it to the end even if we don't like it though <laughs> <laughs> and the long life milk um, I, I accidentally opened a new bottle when there was one open this morning so we do need one <laughs> my mistake uh, just get two if you want 
what we're on there now. Right, there's 300 quid's worth. Right, let's carry on. <laughs> and ice is a necessity to keep all the food chilled. We're going through bags and bags of this a bloody day. Yeah, how many? Just one. Get one. Sure? Yeah. We might have one cube left from yesterday's haul. I shall get two then. No, let's get the one. We've no, no we don't forget you're putting food in the cooler as well as ice. I'm not, I'm using it. You need none of the food in the cooler. No, I think one will do. Just one? Yeah. I mean, we didn't even get to use them ones you bought yesterday. They bleeding melted before we got they back. They melted in the car, didn't they? Yeah. Following the missus around like a little lost pup. <laughs> we don't know whether we've got beans or not. Um, I think we've got beans and sausage. Camping section. Oh, an adventure ridge. How much is this? No price. Oh, twelve ninety nine. Oh no, forty four. Uh, Thirty nine ninety nine. I think we'll hold out. Hold out until we uh, until we really really need it. Take him. Right in the uh, what have we got? Have we got anything actually? Um, just them Doritos that I got yesterday. Snacks, guys. So, um, did we get them snack right? Crisp with pops yesterday. Them, there's a little bit left to go. We didn't open the Doritos. Um, what are these? I'll have some of them. They look nice. Sour cream waves. Yeah, they look alright then. Alright, right, we're done. I think we've done well there. £756.92. pence. Done well there, babe. <laughs> done well. Let's oh, go. Shall I get some more cream cheese? Well, you, but it's only you eating it. It's very no, selfish of you, that. All that. foods purchased should be shared. <laughs> 53 quid for a tin of it. Bed was paid for that. There we go. More bagels. Ice. Bean. Nope. And whatever they are. And some ice. Let's see. Yoink. So we'll start with the rearmost panel first because that's where the bed was touching um, and that's where we want the bed to stay so this stuff body stinks Welcome back my fine friends and followers. So, um, we managed to get three or four panels, I think it was three panels on the canvas tent done with that fab seal and we used the aerosol to concentrate a little bit around the back. Just as I finished that I um, got a beep on my phone and I checked a message on Messenger from a very long time standing um, supporter and follower of the YouTube channel. His name is Tony Edens and I've just got to say straight off the bat, I have got the best community in the world. I really have. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. You have really raised the spirits of my missus, um, including mine as well. But the message went like this. Stay, what's happening? Um, I've got a three-birth caravan. I want to gift it to you. It's got everything you need. Um, we'll sort it out for delivery. I'll, I'll get it to you. We've upgraded in a day. So, absolutely amazing. Um, and I know, you know, it was romantic thinking about living in a tent for the long term, but 
I've got to be realistic about my missus' um, mental health and uh, her health as well. She's got a bad chest, um, especially in the colder months. She did suffer with pneumonia, nearly killed her, and now she has a weakness in the lungs. So this also means that we can now bring our two dogs, which is breaking my missus' heart, going back to the house that we departed from every day and having to leave the dogs there after sorting them out. So a couple of bonuses there, plus it's going to cost us uh, significantly less to stay in the caravan on this site than it is a tent where we are. Um, the tent has been absolutely fantastic for the last week um, and if it was me alone I would truly live in that tent um, until a massive massive storm of 80 mile an hour winds hit and probably tear it to bits but up until that point I would have been happy. <laughs> so fingers crossed tomorrow we're going to get a call um, and we are going to be in a caravan so if that happens be sure I will be showing you around the new caravan um, I'm quite excited um, just to see what it's like so yeah uh, we've upgraded from the tent by the looks of things to a caravan awesome you guys are fantastic you're awesome thank you very much absolutely